Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be looking at two new platinum lightsabers that will be coming into the game probably around patch 5.10 which is the new Jedi vs Sith storyline and this, these two lightsabers are going to be the Darth Malgus lightsaber and then the damaged variant. Now a lot of people have speculated that this might mean we'll see Darth Malgus return with the 5.10 storyline. I'm not so sure about that, it's possible, but also in the past we've seen things like Tula Kord's lightsaber come into the game and other stuff, and so not necessarily, I wouldn't really kind of depend upon that. But, uh, but it is just cool in general that we're seeing Darth Malgus' lightsaber. We already have his armor set. He's a very prominent character in, uh, in Star Wars Old Republic. So I'm actually surprised we haven't seen his lightsaber come to the game um, thus far. However, I do have the actual items to showcase to you guys in game right now. We'll see what the actual effects look like, what their sounds are, how they look in game. And it'll just be kind of cool to, to see what makes them really unique and different. So we'll start with the Darth Malgus lightsaber. This is just kind of the normal one. And as you guys can see here as I ignite it on my character, in terms of sound, there's nothing too special. It just sounds like a normal lightsaber. It does have the iconic Darth Malgus look to it. So for those of you who are familiar with how his lightsaber hilt actually looks like, what makes it different is, is it has those two blades coming out from the top. And those blades just look really awesome. I'm pretty sure those are unique to just Darth Malgus. Like his, his saber is the only one that really had that. It's also got kind of this pure black hilt. It's got this red kind of button that you guys can see really clearly, which is how you ignite the saber. And then it's got the silver ring at the bottom. Those are kind of its defining features. The hilt itself is really large, so you can see that it does have this sort of prominent design. Like if you were using Darth Malgus' lightsaber, people would know that you're using that one. But aside from that, there's nothing too special or unique about it. I mean, it is a platinum rarity item, and I'm not sure how they're going to price this kind of stuff. Like, are they going to release both of his weapons as a bundle type deal, or are they going to individually price them at like 5,400 cartel coins, which is indeed really pricey. I personally would hope that they go for a bundle deal or something and, and give it to us for a more reasonable price. Because this one in general just isn't that special aside from the design. And, and I did a video on this in the past, uh, like a few weeks ago when the items were first data mined. And a lot of people rightfully mentioned that there are very similar designs already in game. And those types of sabers aren't like cartel market sabers. They're just kind of normal items you can earn in game. They do kind of have a similar design. Now they are nowhere as as nice as these ones are as intricately detailed but they do kind of have those two blades coming out the top and stuff I'll try to find some image, images of those to throw in this video I even did a video like two years back about how you can get a saber that looks really similar to Darth Malgus' saber but anyway the point is there's nothing too special I think about this it is Darth Malgus' lightsaber it looks really nice but in terms of visual effects or sound or anything there's nothing much to distinguish it what's a lot nicer however is the undamaged variant of this so I'll show you guys that right now. This one is also a platinum rarity item. It is the, uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's just called Darth Malgus's damaged lightsaber. And basically, as you guys can see, it has the identical base design. However, it just has these effects that make it damaged. And so, for example, one of the blades is kind of broken. It's got this kind of um, scarring all down the side. And the best change is that the saber is actually an unstable variant. So it is the it is the same unstable effect that we've seen on like Tulak Horde's lightsaber and the dark honor guard's unstable saber. And what I mean by that it is is it's got this kind of thin blade. And if you put a white and black crystal on it, it will turn the crystal pure black. And that's one way to distinguish it from other unstable sabers. Like for example, the unstable Peacemaker's lightsaber, which won't do that to the white black crystal. So they kind of have different unstable variants. This one, I believe, is one of the nicer ones. Um, I would say that it's kind of difficult to even see right from the outset that it's an unstable blade, but it becomes apparent as you look at it for a little bit longer. What I think is really cool about this one is the sound and the effect of actually igniting the saber. So, so I'll show you guys that right now. And basically what I mean by that is the unstable sound is very clearly there. And uh, when you ignite the saber, it ignites very slowly. And you can compare that to the original Darth Malga saber, which basically ignites it almost immediately. This one kind of comes out very slowly and stuff. It's just these kind of cool small things that I think really provide a personal touch. And I do think the unstable saber is the nicer one of the two, definitely. I think more people are gonna be interested in using this one just because the fact that you actually have a damaged lightsaber adds so much more personalization and character to the weapon itself. Like so many, I think, Sith characters or players in the game are gonna to wanna to use this one just because 
we don't actually have a damaged weapon thus far. Or at least I don't remember their, them ever releasing like a damaged weapon. We do have the damaged weapon tuning which can turn any weapon into kind of like a damaged thing. But it doesn't really have that prominent of an effect. And this uh, weapon actually was made to look damaged. So I think it's going to just be cool if people want to roleplay as, like as like a Sith character who's, who you know, has a battle damaged weapon and battle damaged armor and all that cool stuff. So in any case, let me know what you guys do think about these two weapons. Hopefully this gives you a really good picture of what these two weapons are going to entail. I have no information on pricing or what they're going to look like when they actually come into the game. Keep in mind this is on the public test server, which means this is the unfinished version of the, of the weapons them, themselves. They, even, they don't even have images right now in collections and stuff, or even as the item itself. So they are subject to change. We might see some changes in their design come in when they actually get released. But hopefully this just gives you a really good picture of what these are actually going to look like. I do think they're pretty neat weapons. The only downside would be if they price them too high and make them basically inaccessible to the majority of the player base. That would be very unfortunate. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for a few other previews that I have coming up on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.